Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. There's one thing I believe in this life, which is what you sow is what you reap. Remember those times during the protests where the, the, the military men were applying some protesters that came out to protest against the hardship in this country? I will know some that was also arrested in the case of the protest and they are still in custody. We saw it, have been asking and pleading for their release because those people are minors, age of 40 to 17 years, are being kept in detention because of the protest. So now the, Sh the Shahids have declared war on the military, which means that there was a, a protest that happened in Abuja yesterday. That's why they came with cutlass and also they came with armed um, objects to show that they, are, they did not come for peaceful protest because the one they did ended up, the government did not do anything about that one. And now they came, they came out with weapons to fight back against anybody that would block their ways. And so the military men are actually crying out, saying that these people have declared the war. So just I will read from the Congo. So you see that this news are verified. Shahids have declared war on us. FCT minister says more slain officers, which means that some officers were actually fired, two were fired in the process. And this is actually this actually shows that this is not more here to play. They're not here to take anything from the government. And the government must learn to listen to the masses and do the right thing. So I think this is actually the way that this might be going if the government don't do anything about this. So the Commissioner of Police in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Bennett Igwe, on Sunday said that with the killing of two people officers, two police officers, and burning of three operational vehicles, the Shahids have declared war on us. They did a peaceful protest without arms, but two people opened fire, opened tear gas, killed them, arrested some persons, and then you think that those things you did, you will go scot free. No, anything you sow is what you reap. I'm not at, at encouraging violence or encouraging pain of our soldiers, but at least these are the things you see when you don't do the right thing. If you do the bad thing, it will end up coming to you. So Igwe spoke of the pro provocative actions of the group while expressing his displeasure on how members of the proscribed Islamic movement in Nigeria, the IMN, popularly known as the Shahids, bide two of his officers and left two other police women critically injured during a procession in Abuja earlier on Sunday. Also, at least a trader was shot dead in the clash between police and the group at popular Wuse markets or Wuse markets, sorry if I don't get this right, Wuse markets in Abuja and no fewer than three vi people's vehicles were also set ablaze. He was told Daily Trust at first headquarters Abuja that he would not tolerate any attack on his men, insisting that their killers must not go unpunished. So you don't want your people to be, you don't want your people to be fired, but yet people have the mind to open tear gas to shoot on peaceful protesters and then they are not reciprocating the energy but yes you are not good with that which means that anything you sow is what you reap if you know that this is not good for you i think the best thing to do is not to do this no matter where the order is coming from but you can see it now they've actually reciprocating the energy back to them which i don't think is right but these youths are angry this is what you get when you don't treat the people that are leading very well this is what happens when there's hunger in the land and these are the things you see that happens when there's no unity in the country because they cannot open fire on peaceful protesters and then you expect them to come again to come and do peaceful protests and, uh, again because they say that in Igbo, sorry for that, I happy Arab woman to why that um sorry sorry like scorpion cannot bite you twice or else you are called a fool if it happens to you twice i guess that is the meaning so the visible angry commissioner of police said, you can see now that these people, Shahids, have killed my men. They even went ahead to injure two police women. In fact, they've even declared war and security operatives. You spoke to their lawyer. If you heard what he was saying, you will be shocked. You will know that these people have declared total war on us. I want to assure you that we won't take that lightly. This is the last protest or procession they will carry out in FCT. Do you see where this is going now? They are not giving one that this will be the last protest, which means that they say no protest in Abuja. Abuja. And we all know that protest 
is among the fundamental human rights that we have. Everybody have the right to protest against the government that's not doing well. But now the FCT are now saying that that, that right is gone. That they won't take any other protest in Abuja, which means no more peaceful protest in Abuja. And where there are no peaceful protest, that's where revolution comes in. Because people now say that anything that goes, we go. We don't care about anything that happens next. That this is what we want and this is what we will get. And that's why you get all this revolution coming. And I think that's what is coming again to this country. If care is not taken, but I don't pray you get to that level. I think I pray that this should sort it out. Because to me, I feel like this is a payback of what happened when they had to do peaceful protests in this country without arms. But the policemen came with arms and was actually disrupting them with tear gas. You are doing tear gas as peaceful protesters. That shows a bad and un uncivilized country. This video you watched, so guys, I'd like you to hear your views about this video in the comment section. Let me get your own idea about the video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.